There's an insurrection coming. Mitt Romney just confirmed it. We've watched governors, the National Review, conservative leaders, establishment and party operatives trash Donald Trump. But Mitt Romney will always be remembered as the one who put us over the edge and awoke a sleeping giant, the silent majority, the American people. Fact, the establishment is panicked. Mitt essentially called for a brokered convention where the Republican nominee will be selected by party activists and delegates, irrespective of their state's choice. The call? To vote for whomever has the best chance of beating Donald Trump. You want a brokered convention? A primer, Mitt. Whenever we have one, we lose. Dewey and Ford emerged from a brokered convention to lose the general election. So why? Because the party elites and elders want to protect us and stop us from falling into the abyss? Mitt, I'm sure you and your cronies don't feel this, but most of us working two and three jobs think we're already in the abyss, the Obama abyss. And most of us scared about our safety and security. And you want to prevent us from falling into a recession? We don't believe any of you. That's why outsiders are so strong in both parties, while the insiders seek a brokered convention or superdelegates to guarantee their own positions. You're panicked, not for us, but because you're worried about losing power. The lobbyists, the pharmaceutical companies, the power brokers, the lawmakers who are willing to invest in absurd pensions our children can't possibly pay for for their own short-term political survival. We are sick and tired of legislators with modest means who leave Congress multi-millionaires whose spouses and families get all the contracts from selling the post offices to accessing insider information so they can buy property and flip it. You're so entrenched that you're willing to give Hillary Clinton a win. It doesn't matter to you which party Crony capitalism and its paradigm will not change for the elite. Let the American people suffer along the way. You know, Mitt, if you're so concerned about our country, where were you when Barack Obama lied to us, saying we could keep our health care and our doctor? Where were you when the GSA wasted millions of our dollars for stupid conferences? When the military suffered as the VA was run like a piggy bank for corrupt employees. When the IRS went after conservative 501c3 applicants while the Clinton Foundation runs one of the biggest 501c3s in the world, which strikes me as a money laundering organized criminal enterprise parading as nothing more than a shell to pay campaigners and Clinton operatives to secure Hillary's election. And you say you're offended by Donald Trump's language. Politicians have been trashing each other since the Founding Fathers. Language so horrible that I can't even repeat on the air. You're so offended by Trump's language, but not Barack Obama's condemnation of those who cling to God and guns. And you're worried about Donald Trump's businesses? You, Mitt, were a corporate raider who threw people out of work and sent jobs out of our country. And you don't like Donald's temperament and judgment? You couldn't even stand up to CNN's Candy Crowley. You couldn't even get elected when the nation was ripe for a Republican president. And 70 foreign policy security experts say, quote, Mr. Trump's own statements lead us to conclude that as president, he would use the authority of his office to act in ways that would make America less safe and diminish our standing in the world. Are those bozos talking about Barack Obama? And they go on to say that he poses a distinct threat to civil liberties in the United States. Really? I'm worried about the civil liberties of Americans who've had their heads cut off and those killed in workplace violence. Did you criticize that? No. And you want us to vote for Rubio? Why? What has he done? aside from having one of the largest absentee voting records in the history of the U.S. Senate. And you complain about Trump University. Mitt, 
mind explaining your connection to Full Sail University, which knew how to, quote, hold down the cost of their education when in truth it was one of the most expensive colleges in America when the owners were top donors to you through Solomir Capital? Remember, you were an original investor there. And how about Vandertot College, where Ferguson's Michael Brown was about to attend and your pals were about to cash his federal financial loan? Your namby-pamby reason that you won't support Donald Trump even if he's the party's nominee? You worry what you'll tell your grandchildren when they ask, why, Grandpa, didn't you stop Donald Trump? Well, maybe you ought to worry about when they ask about your loss to Barack Obama. What are you going to tell them? Will you tell them that you choked? And I don't care if he supported Democrats, Republicans, or Martians. He was a businessman. And I don't care if he said Putin was a strong leader he could get along with. Hell, Hillary Clinton hit a reset button with Russia. And you're worried about Putin when Barack Obama dances with the devil in Iran? Mitt, I never knew you were such a patriot. And you say Donald's arrogant. He says things that you don't, but things that you think. Your acts are more arrogant than his words. Admit, you lost your own state, Massachusetts, which was the second worst home state loss in presidential election history. And Trump won 49% of Massachusetts. Donald Trump is bringing in record numbers of Americans. He's doing more to add to our ranks than any of your anemic get-out-the-vote operations. Yes, there's an insurrection coming. We're fed up. We're sick of the lies, the veils, and the games you talk about immigration. Yet no one has done anything since the last amnesty in 1986. While we continue to pay for education, medication, housing, while families like Kate Steinle's murdered by an illegal deported five times, convicted seven times, suffer behind backdoor budget hearings. You continue to fund sanctuary cities that thumb their noses at American victims. You talk about overspending and the government and the deficit. It's only gotten bigger. You take our money in the form of taxes, wasted away while you feather your own nest. From Bob Dole to John McCain to you, Mitt Romney, and almost another Bush. The party elite cannot win. Don't be small, Mitt. Remember our history. Remember when we were fed up with a monarchy? Be careful. Be very, very careful. Do not disrespect the man who makes sense to us, because when you disrespect him, you disrespect the will of the American people. And that's not a good place to be.